Okay then, so I'm going to do a video on testing this injector. I've already done it once, so I'm going to try it again and do a film on it. Basically what I'll do is I'll just strip it down, clean the actual injector bit, open the injectors up, soak it in some G101, shut the injector off whilst it's soaking and leave so there's a bit of G101 inside and then leave that for about 15 minutes to do its work inside. Now I'll blow it through with some carb uh, throttle body cleaner and uh, check the insulation, uh, check the resistance of the, make sure it's all right, the windings, and then make sure the pattern spray is good. So let's do it. You're best off to have a, a connector from an old bike, the same as yours, so you don't have to touch these wires together. But I haven't got that today, so I'm using these two jumper wires. Which ain't the best idea, but it's the best I can do today. Right, I'll just make some, show you making these wires and then we'll get to it. So basically, to make the wire, if you haven't got a, a piece of an old loom, because obviously you're better to use an old, an actual injector connector first. What I'll do is, I'll just fold them back, well, make sure they're tidy first. I'll fold them back a little bit at a time. And then fold it back on the wire, it's on the insulation. That way it makes it nice and thick. And then you can shove the wire in push it down alongside the terminal you don't really want them both touch it like that. a bit fiddly obviously you're best to use a real connector there you go once you get it it holds pretty secure so Right, I'm going to put both in and get it ready for testing. So I'll show you how I'll test and clean uh, an injector. This is a, off a Yamaha YZFR125. So first of all you want to make sure it's worth doing. So just test it for continuity. So we've got 12 ohms, which is a good reading on an injector coil. So worth doing. The first thing I'll do is strip it down. So I'll just pull this off. Don't lose the bit like I just have. I can see it. And pull the injector away from the inlet. That way you can get in there, clean it all out and that. So the first thing I'll do is soak it in degreaser. So I'll just get that set up. I was going to use it neat, this G, G101 stuff, degreaser, multi-purpose cleaner, sorry it's multi-purpose cleaner not a degreaser. So I'm going to take the O-rings off, might want to replace them when you put it back together. Just dip it in there, give it a good clean off around the surface. battery and 
I'm going to dip it in there. Make sure it fills the injector up with good cleaner. Make sure you get the right terminals. So I can hear it opening now. So let it fill up. So, injector should be closed now. Hopefully it's got some of that stuff inside of it. So I'll just leave that. Now for 15 minutes. Let so that cleaner do the work. Been soaking now for 15 minutes. I'll give it a good clean round the outside, dried all the stuff off. So now I'm going to assemble it. I'll just put the O-rings back on. You want to put the new rings on, so, but this is a used one, so not bothered about it. You can see them a bit loose, so might be best to change them. Reassemble this. Usually slot together pretty easy, but on the camera it ain't gonna bother. That's it. Just gonna cut this piece off because that ain't open. Alright, so the last, the last clean and the last check is just to run it through with a bit of uh, throttle body cleaner. So I'm going to put the wires in, open up the injector again. Now you want to check the spray pattern as well when you're doing it. It should be in a lot of nice pyramid triangle sort type shape. So I'm pretty happy with that spray. I don't know if you've seen it, I'll try it again. Now it shows itself. Hopefully you caught that on camera. I'll just set it up and try and do it again though for one more last shot. <laughs> 